This is Sanders Lake, situated on the Hampshire Surrey border. It's a gravel pit of around 12 acres in size, featuring 31 swims, with depths ranging from inches in places to around 10 feet at its deepest point. Sandhurst boasts an impressive stocking of carp, with several mirror carp such as Nigel's fish, scaly, pinhead and sea scale having broken the 40 pound barrier, along with Wally's common and bubble tail, another common which hover around the 40 pound mark too. Added to this, Sandhurst Lake has large numbers of 30 pound plus fish with lots of 35 pluses of both commons and mirrors, alongside a huge stock of 20 pound plus fish, thereby offering the day ticket angler a chance for a bite whatever the time of year. Sandhurst responds extremely well to a wide variety of carp fishing techniques and tactics, ranging from a single hook bait or PVA bag approach for those fishing shorter sessions right through to the mass baiting approach for those with a little bit more time on their hands. My name's Jamie Smith, and lucky enough for me, I've been a bailiff on the water for a good long number of years now. During this period, I've had the fortune to capture most of the lake's larger residents. In this presentation, I hope to give you, the viewer, a little insight into Sandhurst, its topography, and the different methods myself and my friends use to good effect on the water. You come through the gate and right in front of you, have the road bank swim. Right, we might as well start off with the swim that's right in front of you, which is number four, the car park or the dugout swim. The car park swim does a business summer or winter. As you can see from the three crosses, we're fishing this part of a great big feature, so this end of it is your water. You've got a good deal of shallow water up until about 80 yards range. My right hand rod, I'd usually fish towards the middle bailer swim. My middle rod, I'd usually fish towards the left hand poplar at around 85 yards range. My left hand rod, I'd fish directly at swim number 20 at around 90 yards range. You don't want to go too far left and too far because then you'll be approaching on number 10's water and you don't want to go too far off to the right or too far because then you'll be encroaching on the pipe swings water. There's also a couple of deeper spots off to the left at around 45 to 60 yards. Never be afraid to drop one in close. Just up to the left is a nice long margin and the fish tend to frequent this area once the water starts warming up a bit. This swim can accommodate two anglers wishing to fish together. Alternatively, there's a nice slope into the swim so you can accommodate disabled anglers too. Caught about 80 yards range this one. In a deep uh, silty area out there in amongst the shallow areas. So well chuffed with that one. 26th of February, cold water common. Lovely. 